Hello, fancy beauty symbols. So, welcome to Work On Me Wednesday. <laughs> I got the word here. And I'm, I've been sitting here out here and just trying to trying to gather my thoughts and trying to process a lot of information and a lot of things that my family has been going through my children, um, my grandchildren, when I tell you that I am literally in the worst storm, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to get through this video without crying. I'm literally going through the worst storm. <laughs> that a mother <laughs> two mothers and the child can go through. And um I want to just release um, I want to sit here and I want to just tell you everything that <clears throat> is unfolding um, but because I am in a vulnerable position um, with something else that I'm trying to do and I, I, I mentioned that to you guys uh, before I don't want to say or do anything even though I, and, and, and I don't even want to say this because it's almost a contradiction it's almost a contradiction um it's been raining out here. My, my pillow is wet. <laughs> I'm just laying back on it. Um, you know how they say you have to pr just continue to praise God through your circumstances, through your trials, through your 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 problems because let's face it the world that we're living in is problems everywhere you turn is problems every time you click on Facebook someone has passed away some tragedy has happened. Someone has gotten killed. Someone has taken their own life. These are the times that we have to reach for this book. You can't reach for a drink. You can't reach for your best friend. You can't reach for your mother. You can't reach for your children. You can't reach for your husband. You can't reach for your your wife. You have to reach for God. And I so want to share with you in this video what I'm going through, what I'm in the midst of,
because literally it's breaking my heart. It's something that <coughs> you just don't want to have happen to anyone. I've been through it when I was a girl. And now somebody very close to me. And as as a mother, you you don't want to you don't want to think what did you what did you do? What happened to what happened to your child? And so rather than give the devil the satisfaction to succumb to the feelings of wanting to give up, wanting to wanting to um, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You don't have power over my family. You don't have power over me. You don't have power over my children. You don't have power over my grandchildren. None of them. In your life, in our lives, we go through periods of where we're feeling like we're in a division. And so I want to go to Deuteronomy Deuteronomy 5 It was initially supposed to be 22, but as my my eyes fall upon the page, he's bringing me to 16. So five Deuteronomy 5 and 16. It says, Honor your father and your mother as the Lord your God has commanded you, that your days may be long and that it may be well with you in the which the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife and you shall not desire your neighbor's house his field, his male servants, his female servants, his ox, his donkey, or anything that is your neighbor's. I will go on to read 22. These words the Lord speak to all your assembly in the mountain from the midst of the fire, the cloud, and the thick darkness with a loud voice. And he added no more 
and he wrote them on two tablets of stone and gave them to me. We are in the midst of the fire. The cloud and the thick darkness. That is what we are in. So it was when you heard the voice from the midst of the darkness while the mountain was burning with fire that came near to me. All the heads of your tribes and your elders. And you said, surely the Lord our God has shown us his glory and his greatness. And we have heard his voice from the midst of the fire. In the midst of the fire, we have to hear God's voice. And that's the reason I say it. You can't reach for man, whether it be your mother, sister, father, brother, cousin, niece, aunt. You cannot reach for them in the midst of your fire, in the midst of your darkness. The only way you will be able to see light is to hear his voice. You can hear his voice when you praise his name. When you feel like, I can't take another thing on my plate, Father. That's when you have to continue to praise his name. Say hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. And immediately you will feel relief. You will feel a calmness to come over you. You will feel invigorated. You will feel the fight rise in you so that you can continue to fight against the evils of the world, against the devil, against all weapons that are trying to be formed against you. Your biggest weapon is to continue to praise God's name. do everything you go through and that is what I have been doing in the circumstances that I have found myself in in the circumstances that I know my children are in extended children my own children that I birth. The devil is trying to take over their minds, their actions, their spirit to live. The devil is running rampant. And as I sit here right now and right here in this moment, I take the victory back. I take the power back. I take insecurity back. I take my sober mind back. I do this on behalf of my children, on behalf of those that are surrounded in this situation that I'm being used for. For whatever reason, the devil tried to get me to say, why me? And before I could even utter those words, I said, thank you, Jesus. Why not me? As terrible, as terrible as this situation is.
give honor to God for the season that we are in. If you are going through something that you feel embarrassed about, whether it be as a mother, whether it be as a child, whether it be as a grown adult, as a wife, as a husband, as a co-worker, as a friend, and you feel like no one can relate to what I'm going through. And I promise you this, when it is the right time for me to release the information, the details of what I'm speaking of, I will do that. Because what I have learned is that saying of what happened in this house, stay in this house, I cast that demon out. I cast that demon out. Because the more we share our trials and our tribulations, the more we can connect with people that's going through the exact same walk that you're going through or have been through or is coming out of and they can help you get through that if you can just take your mind to the worst outside of murder a child and to be torn at, in that situation as a mother and as a wife I've already given the situation over to God. Because there's nothing else that I can do. It's, it's nothing else that I can do. And when you get to that point and you know is nothing else you can do. You can't buy them out of it. You can't talk their way out of it. You can't make a bargain to help your child get out of it. All you can do is just put it in the hands of God. And that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. I will be there to support my grandchildren I refuse to cry about it you almost got me too you almost got me but I start praising God and I got the word and I said, let me go and sit down and talk to my fancy beauties and bows because you will not steal my spirit. And you have to take charge back. When you feel it coming in, that's when you start going in and start praising God. Get on your knees and pray. Get your Bible and start reading it. Do whatever you got to do. So you don't give in to the devil worship grounds. You ain't gonna find it in the bottle. You ain't gonna find it popping pills.
people got this thing against I don't do that if it ever become legal it's on the way me personally that's a whole nother subject just do whatever you gotta do that's not on the devil's worshiping grounds take yourself to your knees put your hands up in the air give thanks for the season I know, I know it's gonna it's gonna feel really really weird but it works it gives you this incredible power it gives you this incredible source of strength and you're going to need all the strength you can get especially if you got to go through something so horrible as this that's why I say stay prayed up fancy beauties and bowls you got to stay prayed up in the times that we living in you can't afford not to be prayed up. You can't afford not to give God thanks. You can't afford not to be in your word. God is growing tired of the way we are treating his gift. And that's the gift of life. He is tired of it. want to make sure that you do whatever you got to do to make sure you are in that number when he open those gates and it starts when you're going through your trials and tribulations anybody can praise him when things are going well when you got a full bank account when you got all your bills paid when there's no problems with your children when there's no problems at your job and you get promotion after promotion after promotion well what you gonna do when he start taking it away because you're not you're not praising him what you gonna do then that's when you start running back to him don't do god like that because he don't do us like that give him his accolades Praise his holy name. Through the times when it's really, really tough. Give him thanks for that season of trials and tribulations. I hope that this word will feed your spirit in some form or fashion. Even without given the meat and potatoes of the whole situation is so fresh that I, I, I cannot risk getting in the way of God's blessing and in the way that God is going to move in this situation and I don't want to risk other things that I'm working on trying to accomplish and I know y'all can kind of fill in the blanks without me saying everything just know that God got it whatever your situation is God got it put it down at his feet and leave it there You can't fix it. It's too big for you. That's what I had to tell myself. This one right here. I'm the one that normally can fix it. I can't fix this one. I can't fix this one. It's just tearing me up inside. This one right here is not my battle.
This one right here is not my battle. I ain't got enough money in the bank to fix this one. I ain't got enough words to fix this one. All I can do is pray, hug, love, and be there for you. That's all I can do in this situation. So, keep my words near to your heart. Keep God even closer. Get a closer relationship with Him. Because things are spiraling out of control in everybody's life. When I tell you, you're not by yourself, you are not by yourself. Everybody got some kind of turmoil that they're going through. And they're just too afraid to speak out about it. They're too embarrassed to speak out about it. It's too painful, they think. People going to talk about me, they think. But little do they know. Once you share your story, trust me, fancy beauties and bowls. If this was the right time, I would definitely share my story because you guys know how I am. I tell you everything. Have since 10, 11, 12 years ago. I share my homelessness. I share my molestation. Okay? Where we at? I shared everything. I shared with you how I felt like I was not a good mother to my children. I share all that with you. Read between the lines. Your prayers are welcome. Let them be good prayers. Because <laughs> I'm God's child and he will bounce all that bad stuff right on up off of me. Right on up off of my family. And I know my fancy beauties and bows. Y'all are prayer warriors. In this situation, too will be one. And prayer and God can do it. I love you guys and um, that wraps up Work On Me Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. Stay fancy.